Hello, my friends. It is July the 24th of uh, 2023. Okay, so this is the second part of my uh, vinyl collection. Okay, so this is uh, part two of a two part series uh, where I discuss uh, my vinyl collection. Okay, so in this video, I have some more LPs that I'm going to show you, as well as some uh, 45s that I will show you as well. Okay, so let's uh, get right into this. Okay, so up first is uh, Angel of Damnation with their self titled album this is uh, an EP it's a two song EP yeah so I bought this album uh, many many years ago uh, probably about 16 17 years ago I had never heard of this band uh, prior to purchasing this it was just sort of a blind purchase I uh, purchased this from a, a pawn shop oddly enough uh, there was a pawn shop many years ago in Steinbach Manitoba Steinbach is like a small city here in Manitoba that I live close to uh, anyhow, this uh, pawn shop had acquired all kinds of like black metal and doom metal and death metal and all kinds of different metal albums, lots of underground stuff. And for whatever reason, they acquired all of this stuff and uh, they had this EP there. And so I decided to purchase it. I thought it was actually a black metal album. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect, but you know what? I love this album so much. And uh, I got so heavily into da Angel of Damnation afterwards. And uh, of course, they are one of my favorite bands now. Just such a phenomenal do metal band that I highly uh, recommend okay so yeah very very happy to have this in my collection all right got a couple of black metal 45s here this is a band called Deceiverion kind of hard to pronounce uh, the name of this album is Despondent this album came out in 2004 uh, yeah I've listened to this album before but it's been many many years so I don't even recall what it sounds like <laughs> again I purchased this from that pawn shop I think it cost me like five bucks yeah so kind of an interesting purchase pretty rare album to see Virion, kind of a hard, a hard band name to pronounce but uh, yeah cool to have that in my collection uh, this is a split album uh, the bands are anatomy and long voyage back uh, this came out in 2002. These are a couple of Australian black metal bands. I've, it's been many years since I've listened to this this split as well, so I don't really recall what the bands sound like. But uh, yeah, interesting to have in my collection. I purchased this from that pawn shop as well for five bucks. So again, pretty rare album. Nice to have in my collection. All right, I have a couple more 45s here. I don't have that many 45s have a handful of them in my collection this is a band called Malefaction this album is called Worship Nothing this came out in 2000 this is a grindcore band out of uh, Winnipeg Manitoba they are no longer around this is another one of their albums as well this is uh, Divisions this came out in 1997 yeah so this band is out of Winnipeg Manitoba they are no longer around they are more like a grindcore type of band I honestly don't care for this music for whatever reason I purchased these years ago I think from a shop somewhere in Winnipeg I was quite young at the time. I must have been in my late teens, maybe, and I just decided, to, ah, let's get this, get these albums. I don't know why, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's kind of nice to have them in my collection. Again, not something I particularly like, but uh, yeah, still cool to have in my collection. Uh, got a bunch of these uh, decibel flexi discs here. Okay, so yeah, I've been reading decibel for many years, and they do include a flexi disc with uh, each of their issues. So I got a bunch of them here. All right, so I'm gonna get into the LPs now. First up is uh, Frank Zappa with Studio Tan. I think I bought this from Into The Music, which is a shop here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Yeah, it's a pretty cool album. I've listened to it a bit, not a whole lot. Very interesting album. I'm a huge Frank Zappa fan, of course. But uh, yeah, Studio Tan, interesting album. Frank Zappa with Joe's Garage. Love this album so much. I have it on CD. I've listened to this album a lot lots and lots throughout the years this is a phenomenal album definitely one of my favorite Frank Zappa albums of course I'm a huge huge Frank Zappa fan love him so much and uh, yeah Joe's Garage phenomenal album this is a single this is entitled I don't want to get drafted I think this came out in 1980 so this is just one song on this on this LP excellent song I've listened to this one quite a lot actually I really really enjoy this song so much uh, such a catchy song and such a fun and interesting song i like i really enjoy it so much yeah fantastic uh yeah happy to have this one in my collection i would imagine this is somewhat rare i think i purchased that from uh 
into the music as well many years ago. Another Frank Zappa album here, Ship Arriving Too Late to Save a, Save a Drowning Witch. This album came out in the early 1980s. Again, such a phenomenal album. I have this one on CD as well, and I've listened to it quite a lot. So many excellent songs on here, like No Not Now, Valley Girl, I Come From Nowhere, Drowning Witch, Teenage Prostitute. <laughs> yeah, really love uh, Frank Zappa's humor. Very interesting. I can definitely relate to his humor so much. And uh, such a brilliant songwriter. Had so many great musicians perform with him, and uh, unfortunately, he passed away uh, many years ago, back in 1993. And uh, yeah, it's very unfortunate because... Uh, be interesting to see what he'd be doing now and uh, yeah but anyhow he did put out quite a lot of great music and uh, yeah I just love Frank Zappa's music so much all right Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble with Texas Flood yeah great great album great blues rock album I think this came out in sometime in the early 1980s 1983 I believe I'm not entirely sure I do have this one on CD as well and I've listened to it a fair bit I'm not the biggest uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan fan, but this is an album I definitely appreciate and have listened to it a fair bit. Uh, such a classic album right here. I think I bought this one from Into the Music as well. If I, if I, uh, I, I don't recall exactly, but I think I did purchase it from there. Uh, Kenny and Dolly, Once Upon a Christmas. Yeah, I know this may seem like a bit of an odd choice here or an odd album for me to have, but you know, I love this album so much. I have this on CD as well. and. Uh, this is an album I grew up listening to my mom. I remember every Christmas she would listen to this album. and So I just grew up listening to this album a lot, especially around the holiday seasons. And I really enjoy this album so much. And I, I found this album, I think at a thrift store many years ago, this LP right here. And I had to purchase it because again, I'm such a huge fan of this album. I've had it on CD for many years. And it's just one of those albums. It's, there's just so much nostalgia attached to it for me. And I uh, just really enjoy it so much. Yeah, just, this is an album, every Christmas I gotta listen to it. I really like this album a lot. Okay, so yeah, Kenny and Dolly, Once Upon a Christmas. Amy Winehouse with Frank. Yeah, I'm just a huge, huge Amy Winehouse fan. I just, oh, I've listened to her music so much throughout the years. I have all of her albums, of course, on CD. In fact, I've had to purchase second copies of all the albums because I wore out <laughs> the original copies and the, yeah, just love her music so much. All of her music, her albums are great, but Frank to me is the one that I enjoy the most. It's just, I like it a little bit better than the other ones. Yeah, again, this is a musician that left us far too soon. She passed away, I think back in 2011. She was just 27 years old and just love her music so much and uh, just fantastic. I had to purchase this one on vinyl because I just love it so much. All right, Woods of Ypres with the Pursuit of the Sun and Allure of the Earth. I'm a huge, huge fan of Woods of Ypres. I'm sure everybody knows that. Love their music so much. And this album right here is just excellent. This is their second release. Amazing, amazing music right here. So melancholic and uh, just so memorable. A nice mix of melodic black metal and doom metal and goth metal. Just incredible stuff. David Gold, of course, passed away back in 2011. Left us far too soon. He was only in his early 30s. But he left behind some great, great albums and uh, Woods of Ypres, definitely one of my top, I would say 10 favorite bands, uh, incredible stuff. Another Woods of Ypres album here, this is the Green Album, still sealed. I may open it at some point, uh, yeah, it's a double LP right here. I just love this album so much, excellent, excellent album. Yeah, it's just incredible. I've listened to this one so much. I had to, I actually had to purchase a second copy on CD because I wore out my original copy. And uh, of course I had to purchase this one on uh, LP as well because I just love this album so much. Definitely one of my top, I would say 20 favorite albums. Incredible stuff. Uh, yeah, the Green Album. I purchased this one not that long ago. I purchased it uh, from Amazon. And of course, uh, Woods of Ypres with Grey Skies and Electric Light. This came out in 2012. This is their last album. I've spoken about this album many, many times throughout the years. I just love this album so much. Uh, one of my top 10 favorite albums. I just, ah, I just love it so much. And I've listened to this album so much throughout the years. I still listen to it regularly. It's just an absolute masterpiece from start to finish. And of course, I had to purchase it on vinyl still sealed I may open it at some point but I just this album is just incredible it's just such a well-written album 
so many great songs here. All the songs are phenomenal. Just such a memorable album. So melancholic, so deep. Uh, unfortunately, David Gold passed away before this album even was released. Very unfortunate, very tragic. But uh, I mean, this guy, that guy left behind such a masterpiece of an album. I mean, what a brilliant songwriter he was. Yeah, Woods of Ypres with the uh, Grey Skies and Electric Light. Of course, I had to purchase this one. Alright, Catatonia with uh, The Great Cold Distance. Of course, Catatonia, one of my absolute favorite bands. I just, I love their music so much. I have all their albums. Uh, such a phenomenal band. The Great Cold Distance is, of course, my favorite album from them. I just like it a little bit more than some of the other ones. I mean, they have so many phenomenal albums, but uh, this one right, right here is just so incredible. I just, uh, I've been listening to this album for many, many years. I purchased it on CD when it had first come out back in 2006 and uh, yeah, such a great, great album. So many excellent songs in here. It's just a masterpiece from start to finish. Great Swedish gothic heavy metal music right here. Okay, so that is uh, Catatonia with the Great Cold Distance. Of course, it's still sealed. I may open it at some point. I don't know. Enslaved with the Vertebrae. Yeah, I really enjoy this album so much. I know some people aren't a big fan of it necessarily, but I remember when this album first came out, I purchased it, and I, yeah, I really, really enjoyed that album. My, uh, to me, it's one of my top uh, enslaved albums. I really, really enjoy this one quite a lot. Uh, I don't know if it's my favorite album from them. I think Issa would be my favorite album from them. I really enjoy that one as well, and as well as so many of their, so many of their other albums because they have so many excellent albums. This band, but uh, Vertebrae is still an album I really enjoy from Enslaved and uh, decided to purchase it on vinyl. Great, great album. Vrutk with the Microcosmos. Excellent Ukrainian atmospheric black metal band here. They have like folk elements as well in their music. Incredible, incredible album. Uh, I've had this one on CD for many, many years as well and uh, definitely my favorite album from them. Vrutk, of course, are just such a phenomenal band. I do have all their there are albums and uh, yeah, just really enjoy their music so much and uh, it's just such such a deep music and uh, so dark and dismal sounding and uh, yeah, just love the atmosphere in it and all that. It's just so incredible. Such amazing music right here. Had to have this one on vinyl. Vrutk with Microcosmos. All right, up next is uh, Obstiquai with Araya Vernal Tombs. Uh, yeah, this is a band, I think they are out of, uh, somewhere in the western part of the United States. I think, I, I can't recall exactly where they are from, wh whether it's Washington or Oregon, I just, I don't recall exactly. But, uh, phenomenal, uh, like, melodic black metal here. Very interesting stuff. I just love this album so much. I've had it on CD for many, many years and, uh, love the cover art as well and, uh, as well as the rest of the art. Uh, very interesting music. It's very melodic, has like these twin guitar harmonies employed throughout. Uh, it's just, I just love the mood and the atmosphere of this music. It's just so well produced as well. Very unique style of black metal. I just, I really enjoy their music so much. Obsequi, great, great band. They don't have that many albums out, but uh, yeah, excellent band. If you're not familiar with them, definitely check them out, Obsequi. Okay, Into Eternity with uh, The Scattering of Ashes. Yeah, this is a band out of Saskatchewan, Canada. Excellent, like, melodic death metal. I actually purchased this album at, like, a place called Red River Books in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I just, it's the strangest thing that I found it there. And I think I got it for, like, five bucks. I mean, it's in excellent condition. You could tell it's probably had, has never been played even. It's just an excellent condition. And I was just so amazed that I, I found that album there. It was just, it was just very odd that I found it there because this is a band that I actually enjoy so much. And uh, yeah, very, very happy to have this in my collection. I do have it on CD as well. Excellent band uh, from out of uh, Saskatchewan, Canada here. If you're not familiar with them, definitely check this band out into eternity. Okay. Wolves in a Throne Room with Black Cascade. Love, love, love this band so much. They have so many great albums out. This band, uh, I believe, uh, okay, I think they're out of Washington. Yeah, Washington, I believe, yeah. Excellent, excellent stuff. There are so many great black metal bands from that region. Yeah, very unique sound here, atmospheric black metal. So rich, deep, and complex sounding. Uh, very dark and melancholic sounding also. Yeah, I just love this album so much. This is definitely my favorite album from Wolves in the Throne Room. I'm a huge, huge fan of them. 
uh, have all their albums and uh, really enjoy their stuff so much and uh, decided to purchase this one on vinyl because like I said I'm just such a huge huge fan of this album I've listened to this one a lot this is a great great album and uh, yeah definitely happy to have this in my collection okay so that's Wolves in the Throne Room with the uh, Black Cascade all right Pink Floyd with the Dark Side of the Moon of course this is such a legendary album I do enjoy it quite a bit uh, not my favorite Pink Floyd album if I had to choose my favorite favorite it would be Animals I really enjoy Animals so much but this is such a legendary album I don't recall where, where I even purchased this album I think I may have got it at Into the Music possibly I just I don't recall exactly but yeah it's, I mean it's an essential album uh, I, I believe and uh, yeah it's just one of those albums you have to have in, their, in your collection I do have it on cassette and CD as well great album very legendary all right so up next is Emerson Lake and Palmer this is their self-titled album this came out in 1970 I don't even recall where I bought this album I really don't you know I don't think I've even listened to it that much maybe a little bit I do have it on CD as well actually but I never really got into this band all that much but for whatever reason, I decided to purchase it at some point. I must have bought it at Into the Music, possibly. I just don't recall exactly. Or it could have been at that thrift store out of Steinbach. I think that's where it maybe had come from. Yeah, huh. interesting to have this in my collection. Looks like I paid $5 for it. All right. So yeah, this is Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. All right, so Jethro Tull with Benefit. This album came out in 1970. I do enjoy De Jethro Tull a fair bit. I haven't gotten, gotten into them that deeply, but what I have heard I do enjoy and uh, I don't recall where I bought this album from I think somebody had given it to me maybe uh, I, I don't recall exactly uh, but uh, yeah it's interesting to have it in my collection Jethro Tall Rush with uh, Signals okay so this is a very legendary Canadian prog rock band you know I'm not really a huge fan of their music to be honest but uh, for whatever reason I purchased this one I believe I purchased this at uh, Red River Books I must have been like 17 years old at the time and I uh, was just sort of getting into vinyl at that time so I was just kind of purchasing different albums that I found and uh, for whatever reason I purchased this album. I probably didn't pay that much for it but yeah still interest interesting to have it in my collection. Rusher of course a very legendary band. Again I'm not necessarily that big of a fan of their, their music but still interesting to have in my collection. Okay Reverend Bazaar Return to the Rectory. This is a band that I just absolutely love. Such amazing Finnish doom metal, very legendary. This is actually my favorite Reverend Bazaar album. Uh, just enjoy this one so much. So many phenomenal songs on here. Yeah, I really, really enjoy this album so much. Unfortunately, the band is no longer around. Haven't been around for a long time, but wow, they put out some incredible doom metal. Very epic sounding, just very well written music, excellent production, and uh, yeah, I just, uh, to me, this band just put out some of the most incredible doom metal that has ever been released. I just, I really enjoy Reverend Bazaar so much. I still listen to them regularly. I still wish they would reform one day, but <laughs> it's unlikely that, that that will ever happen. But I still, it's still sort of a dream of mine because, wow, what an incredible band. Uh, just love their music so much. Had to have this one on, on vinyl as well. And uh, I do have all their albums, of course, and uh, still sealed. And I made open it at some point but uh, for now it's, it will continue to be sealed okay so uh, Inquisition with Bloodshed Across the Imperial Altar Beyond the Celestial Zenith very long title Inquisition such an amazing band love their music so much definitely one of my favorite black metal bands absolutely incredible stuff I do have all their albums and uh, this was actually the first album that I ever purchased from this purchased from this band uh, I purchased this album of course on CD initially and uh, so yeah it's still my favorite album from them but they do have so many other great albums as well but of course I decided to purchase this one this one on vinyl also because like I said this is my favorite album from them such a great band just so intense so heavy but they do write very memorable songs as well and uh, great production Dagon's vocals are just phenomenal and his guitar playing his riffing style is just so incredible great great band and uh, be nice if they'll put out another album sometime soon I believe they are working on one but uh, yeah incredible band Inquisition witchcraft with the alchemist this is a phenomenal Swedish doom metal type of band I do have all their albums and uh, just love this band so much interesting stuff uh, they definitely have more of a kind of a, a retro type of analog sound here going on 
uh, definitely reminiscent of like pentagram kind of sounds a little bit like pentagram i would say very well written music very memorable I just love the guitar playing and the vocals and the production of course is just fantastic it has a very warm sound very nice sounding and uh, yeah very memorable songs here yeah I really really enjoy this band so much uh, witchcraft phenomenal band okay so yeah witchcraft with the alchemist of course yeah I had to have this in my collection and the last LP that I will show you here is uh, electric wizard with time to die I love electric wizard so much incredible band amazing doom metal stoner metal band uh, i don't think this is my favorite album from them i would have to choose uh, which call today but uh, this is definitely like a close second or third I, this is a phenomenal album just really enjoy this album so much uh, so many great songs in here love love them all just um so many memorable songs here the production is just fantastic so dark and menacing sounding uh, yeah, very psychedelic sounding as well. Excellent stuff. Yeah. All right. So of course, had to have this one in my collection. It'd be nice to get some of their other albums on vinyl as well. I do have all their albums on CD, but uh, yeah, just such a phenomenal band, Electric Wizard. Okay, so that is uh, part two of my uh, vinyl collection. Okay, so yeah, some excellent albums right here. Yeah, so my vinyl collection, it's it's uh, it's fairly small. Uh, I know th that there are lots of other people out there that have very large vinyl collections, and that's excellent. Unfortunately, mine is uh, fairly small. Uh, I'm mostly a CD collector. Uh, I do have lots and lots of CDs, as you can tell from the background there. Uh, primarily a CD collector, but I do enjoy collecting vinyl as well. From time to time, I do purchase some vinyl. It uh, would be nice to have a bigger collection, that's for sure, but uh, I'm sure over time I will acquire some more and uh, eventually have a bigger collection. That would be excellent. Okay, so uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Leave some comments and uh, yeah, it always I always appreciate comments. Uh, maybe there are some bands you think I should check out. I'm always looking to check out some new bands. If you have any kind of recommendations or if there's anything that you want to tell me, Please leave some uh, comments, I'd uh, most definitely appreciate that. Leave a like if you could as well, it'd uh, certainly help me out. If you don't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. Okay, so I want to say uh, thank you very much for watching and I want to say thanks to all the people who watch my videos and subscribe to my channel. I really truly appreciate it. Take care my friends, cheers.